what's up? Uh, weekly Motor Reviews here, Tyler. We're going to now review this time. We're going to be talking about Feast of Inequity by the band Pyrexia. Um, this came out October 29th, I believe, through Unique Leader Records. Um, this is their first album since 2007's um, Age of the Wicked, I believe. And, you know, Pyrexia, they're a death metal band and probably known best for their album, uh, what is it, Sermon of Mockery. Um, but here they they uh, they have returned in 2013 with put a new record out and holy shit, um, yes I am late on this I I know I'm late on this but very late than never because um, I got around to finally listening to this I've just been so busy and listening to other things and all that stuff and um, it's nice that Unique Leader has been putting their stuff on, up on Spotify because usually I would have to buy their records or listen to on them listen to them through YouTube, and I don't really like listening to stuff through YouTube too much, um, and I don't have all the money in the world to go out and buy all the albums that I want to review by, by their bands, um, so I'm very thankful that they finally put their stuff up on uh, Spotify, um, so yeah, I mean, this album starts off with the track The Pendulum, and it's 10 tracks long, and holy shit, I mean, this album does not let up. If you ask me what my favorite song is off this album, I would say all of them. They are all so good. They are just absolutely near flawless. This album is, in my, in my mind, it is so fucking heavy. If you like Suffocation or, uh, you know, Jungle Rod or something, you will love the shit out of this. If you love more old school death metal, um... You really love the shit out of this, like you know, Deicide or something like that. Oh my God, this album is just it is so good. Um, the first thing I really noticed that really just blew me away was uh, the vocals by I believe his name is Eric Shoot. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, his vocals are just they're, they're kind of they're rather unique. Um, to my mind, to me, they're very, they're very audible, but they're very brutal at the same time. And that's almost hard to, to get, you know what I mean? To have these really, really brutal guttural vocals that, um, are, are extremely audible. Um, I just thought that was really cool. And his, just the overall sound was just great. And I think the vocal passages that are written on here are just fantastic. Take the song, um, Panzer Tank Lobotomy, for example. I mean, that's... That song is catchy the whole way through, but those vocals, damn, they are catchy. They are pissed off, and, and they are very violent. And I just, I loved the vocals on this album. Just as a whole, I felt like the vocals just complemented the music so well. Um, and, and, the, and the sound of this record is just so. I feel the production is so perfect on here. It, it's it's not the most clean. It's not the best production in the world, but it it fits the music so well it fits their style like i've been saying in a couple album recent album reviews um it's just it, it adds this layer of grittiness it, it makes it more dirty and heavy and i just i, I really really enjoy that the drumming on here is top notch as is drumming with pretty much every death metal band out there um but the drumming i thought was really really good on here so many times um, that I was just sitting at, at my computer, you know, doing stuff, and I would just start headbanging, you know, it's just like, oh my gosh, there's grooves in this album, there's blast beats, there's, there's, uh, you know, some slams, some, you know, real brutal parts, there is some really nice shit littered throughout this entire album, um, and the guitar tone, I just feel, is just godly, it is just... It's so just, it's like, you know, a monster coming out of your closet and just fucking you up. It, this whole album just really beats you, and it just does not let up the entire time. I, I, I just, I loved it. I loved how, you know, fast-paced, how energetic it was, how, you know, chaotic it was. It was, it was like this really awesome, controlled chaos. It was great. And overall, I mean, this is just a very, 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 very strong release. I think one of the the best death metal albums of the year, and possibly even one of the best albums of the year. I, I, I might just put this in my top 20 when we get to the end of the year, which is 
you know, it's crazy to think that in about a month we'll be doing our top albums of 2013 and all that stuff. Um, just as a whole, if, if I, like I said before, I would pick pretty much every song to be my favorite on here, but if I, if I was chosen, if I was forced to pick a couple, I would pick, um, Panzer Tank Lobotomy, Thy Minion was a really good one, um, Cocoon of Shame, Infliction, and probably, uh, the opening track, The Pendulum. Um, which is the first track that they released. I believe the first track that they released for this album. I thought that was great too. That's what really got me into wanting to listen to it. And just as a whole, this is just a great old school death metal. Just There's nothing that reinvents the wheel here. There's nothing you know completely new. It's just executed so well with a very unique vocalist in some very brutal parts. Um, I thought the, the, the slams on here were just fucking phenomenal they were well placed they they weren't used that often throughout the whole album but when they were used it was very well placed very uh very uh thoughtful songwriting on here and that's one that, that's another thing that's the last thing i'll probably say about this is that you know you look at the song lengths for you know some death metal albums and they have really short songs and stuff and you know short songs can be great but you look at the song lengths on here i mean you have songs that are roughly all of them are about three and a half to four minutes long and i just feel that that's perfect that is the perfect length for a death metal song to really get your point across get the brutalness get the brutality out there and just really write some solid songs and put out a great record that's what pyrexia did with this um i'm going to give this a nine out of ten this is a great fucking album check it out um unique leader has had a great year this year and uh, there's a couple that I have not reviewed that I, I will hopefully get to, you know, Deeds of Flesh, um, Euphoric Defilement, I'm trying to think of anything else, Oblivion, Oblivionized, or whatever that band is, Ben Worm's new band. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely pick this album up. I'm going to pick it up when I get some dough, you know what I mean? And uh, so yeah, 9 out of 10, Pyrexia, Feast of Inequity. Check out all the other uh, reviews that have been going up. Um, I probably have about 10 reviews sitting on my computer that I still have to upload. So definitely keep checking out all this stuff. Uh, reviews of Russian Circles, um, Cataclysm, Tear, Lamb of Gods, and uh, lots more to come for the rest of the year. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, I'll see you around.